Hello, my lovely Pisces. Welcome to your January 2024 general monthly reading for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome or welcome back. If you are new to me, thank you guys for stopping by, for checking out my readings. Your 2024 yearly forecast is out if you want to check that out if you haven't caught it yet it does go month by month it is quite long in depth <laughs> that your playlist is up here and also at the end of the reading i'm going to pull some cards here for your monthly energy i have a little bit of a slow start this year because i've got a lot going on here i've got new equipment we're doing a new setup here and i cannot wait to show you all that's coming up so I'm just one person I'm trying to do it all by myself so give me some time and patience I love and appreciate you guys so I had to close my books this month just to finish everything up however I may be reopening appointments in February uh, I will also be at an in-person um, I'll be doing in-person readings on February 3rd and more info on that is coming up all tied up with your energy oracle here the garden and the gate and six chakra archangel metatron love it okay now right off the bat your major arcanas here very nice with the high priestess the temperance the strength card and the moon card the moon being watery energy pisces cancer scorpio i generally read it um you know between cancer and scorpio however this is a general reading apply it to your situation um you've got sagittarius you've got uh leo here virgo strong earth and fire energy here so the all tied up card really gives me the vibe, the energy that there are certain circumstances or situations where you find yourself feeling like you're tied and bound, feeling like there is this energy of restriction. And the word spirit gave me was suffocation. Okay. It's this feeling, this energy of wanting to break free, but feeling like you can't. However, I feel like there are some spiritual messages, guidance, um, spiritual guidance that you've been receiving outside of, you know, tarot readings and whatnot. I feel as though mm, there are thoughts that are coming to mind about this specific situation that you feel is almost never ending. Like you feel like there is no end in sight. However, spirit is telling me, yeah, because you haven't ended things. You haven't put a stop to it. So it's not that there is no end in sight, is that there is no action that's been put. There's no like real action that's put forth to end things, whatever this may be for you. If this is a situation uh, around your employer, your work environment, family situation, relationship, maybe you've been separated a long time, but just never actually filed the papers for divorce. You know, Spirit is saying in order for you to really be able to step into the next chapter of your life, you've got to completely close one chapter. And so for some of you, um, you know, if it's your workplace, you're like, well, I, you know, I know it's toxic, it's unhealthy, I've got to leave this place, but I don't have anything lined up to pay rent, to pay bills, mortgage, whatever it may be, understandable. However, are you putting the work to really look for other opportunities, to really put yourself out there? Are you taking action to move towards something that is for your highest good, is not going to be stressing you out, right? If this is in a marriage partnership relationship, right? In a marriage, for example, you have children, you're separated, not fully divorced. So you think, well, what's the point? We still have to see each other because of the kids or whatever, right? You're, you, can, you can completely close a chapter with that person and taking the final steps to close out that chapter without, without it interfering with children, visitation, all of that stuff. There's this feeling of lines being blurred, but almost to where it's a bit of a, an excuse, a cop out. 
there is this fear factor of completely breaking free and being on your own. So there is still some sort of codependency there. And it may be this fear of breaking free on your own freedom, freedom to move to another place, another, um, I feel like if, if where you, where you are working, there's like job security. And so you feel like if you leave, you're not going to receive that same type of job security. There could be, you know, perks about your current job. For example, they're, you know, they're easy going about your schedule or if you have to leave at a certain time or, you know, there are things that work in your favor, but at the cost of what, right? Whatever it is you're trying to leave behind. So I'm feeling like there's a little bit of that going on. And if you feel like you're not necessarily in like the best position to grow or have like the best outcome, uh, if you're not fully happy and content and feeling satisfied and joyful in your life, spirit is definitely reminding you, look, that gate may be there. You can easily climb over. Heck, you can even use the key around your neck. What's stopping you? Doesn't look like anything or anyone is stopping her here. And the garden and the gate is really that reminder that there are greener pastures out there that are open and available to you. And just because no one has like literally opened up the gates and rolled out the red carpet for you doesn't mean that it isn't available for you. It certainly is. And I'm getting this very strong energy of your intuition, your psychic gift skills ability, premonistic dreams, downloads. Very, very strong this month. I feel like it's been even stronger in the last month or two. There is this strong sense of being able to almost predict certain outcomes that you've been experiencing. I also feel that you could be around someone who is in the process of developing their spiritual gifts. Could be you, siblings, friends, coworkers, children. But I feel like your third eye is very open at this time. And it, it gives me this, this, this feeling, this vibe that you're definitely much more accurate at anticipating certain outcomes, uh, anticipating what people are going to say, decisions that will be made, situations that will unfold. And yet you haven't really told anyone. I feel like you're about to start letting people know, like, watch, this is what's going to happen. Or wouldn't it be funny if this happens? Or wait till so-and-so says or does this and watch this happen. Because I feel like you're definitely developing those gifts where you're channeling, you're receiving messages much more frequently and very, very clearly. Ace of Wands, High Priestess, Nine of Wands, you know, with that all tied up card really, again, really tells me that there, you have this opportunity to start something new. You know you do. You have this opportunity to have a new chapter, to explore, broaden your horizons, ending of one chapter, to go into another, to really break a break ties break free it it does feel like for some of you this is work environment for others it feels like this is marriage i am getting for a couple of you that this is a family situation like if you feel like you're down on your luck and you're living with family it's not the ideal situation I feel like you're just like, oh, I can't wait to get out of this situation. But but then you're not really doing anything to save, to, you know, look for a place, to start the ball rolling, to do exactly that, right? I just feel like spirit here is maybe calling you out a little bit. 
I'm trying to be nice about it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I feel like you feel tight and bound, but yet you're not really putting forth that type of action or energy in order for you to get to a place that you have been wanting to get to for quite some time. The nine of wands is definitely, you know, highlighting that energy of not just resiliency, but knowing that you've been through tough times. And so there is that energy, especially financially, if you have felt like money has just not been as steady as you'd like it to. Now, let me pull a card for the all tied up. And it's clarified by the Ace of Wands. So stop saying you don't have any opportunities. You, you know, you have the power to create your opportunities. You have the power to step into the new opportunities that are there for you. But Spirit is definitely saying it's time for you to take action. Um, you know, stop saying you can't do something or it's not available and just, just do. That's it. Just do it. No, not, I don't mean to sound like Nike or anything. <laughs> Four of Swords. For some of you, it could have been, it could be a tough break where you're just like, I need to come to terms with the fact that, yeah, I need to leave behind certain people, places, things. I know my life is going to change the minute that I do. Those of you that, you know, like I said, maybe you're having a difficult situation. Inflation is outrageous. Money isn't coming in as steadily as you want it to. And you kind of have to live with other people in the meantime. And you know, it's not your ideal situation, but you're definitely like, oh, I cannot wait to get out of this situation. You will. You got to take the first step. It's not enough to have that plan of action in your mind. Because it's just an idea. It becomes a plan of action when you take the first step, when you take action, when you show the universe you're ready to get the ball rolling, you're ready to move into the next chapter of your life. Maybe some of you are receiving child support, alimony, whatever it may be, and you're just like, I don't want to get remarried because that's going to stop the minute that I, that I do. I mean, I don't know your circumstances. That just came through right now. And those of you in a workplace, work environment, you're just like, this job is sucking the life out of me. But then you're just like, yeah, but they do let me leave early when I need to pick up my kids. They do let me come in late when I have such and such duties. You know, it's, it's kind of a catch-22 here. So you have the Temperance card, the Strength card, the Six of Pentacles, King of Wands flies out, Aries Leo Sagittarius. I mean, clearly you have a lot of fire energy here, so you could have fire in your chart. You could be dealing with a fire sign. There could also be this fire sign who's very much interested in helping you out. I heard the words negotiate, but I get this feeling um, for some of you that do have like, a mediator, an attorney, some sort of representation that they provide for you to negotiate, whether that's your salary, your compensation could be, you know, if this is regarding a divorce separation, this is someone who could be uh, definitely in your corner that's going to work out some sort of ideal ideal um, payment situation for you to be able to, again, break free from a current situation you may feel tight and bound to. And Spirit is also saying just because you're not in your ideal place right now does not mean you cannot be happy, does not mean you cannot enjoy the day to day. I feel like some of you definitely have this mentality of I'll be happy when, I'll feel fulfilled when, I'll start dating again when, I'll move out of this situation when. You've attached specific rules and circumstances and, you know, guidelines for your happiness when you can be happy in the now. 
Just because you're not in your ideal situation doesn't mean that the world does not have anything to show you that there is happiness that is yours for the taking. I feel like that is the biggest message here. Some of you have been very methodical in the way that you've moved forward. Yes, slow and not in a negative way. Like no one's, no one's, you know, say, oh, you're not moving fast enough. I don't mean it that way whatsoever. But I get the pace that you're going on. I understand why you're choosing to move a bit slower, a bit more methodical, uh, a, more, like intentional forward movement, right? Every step that you take, every decision that you make has an intention behind it. It's not on a whim. It's not on a, I need to get the F out of here. You are taking some very serious action with intention, those of you that are. But when you get scared, you pull back. That holds you back from following through. And then others of you just simply aren't. You got excuses up the, we, you know, up the, <laughs> up the, you know what? <laughs> Six chakra, Archangel Metatron, nine of pentacles, five of pentacles in the moon card. I do feel like some of you are just wondering if at any given moment money will be, there will be a loss of money, a loss of income. Again, I got that strongly about if you, if you, if you're separated and you're receiving some sort of child support or alimony and you divorce, are you going to lose money? Are you going to be able to make ends meet or, you know, support your children, your family or whatever your own, yourself, your own situation? Cause prices are outrageous these days, right? So I do feel like there is some sense of fear of the unknown when it comes to the finances, financial aspect. I feel like right now some of you may be feeling very stable and you feel a bit grounded. However, for some of you, it feels like it's a fixed income. So you already know, maybe not fixed income, but like there's a set income that comes through or fixed for some of you. There is this uh, sense of fear of loss as the price goes up and your income goes down. I mean, Pisces, shit is getting real out there with these, with these prices, right? The devil card, the moon card. Uh, definitely feeling like... I just feel like there is this energy of if you are going through a divorce, if you are separated and you choose to go through a divorce, you may be you may be thinking that this person's going to take you to the cleaners, this person's going to, you know, take everything from you. Um it just feels like there is this looming energy of poverty, of illness, of financial loss. Uh, maybe this is happening around you in your family and that is something that comes to mind. Uh, maybe someone has health issues and, you know, their income is very much helping the household income and getting through month by month. And, you know, that's scary when someone becomes ill or hurt. How will they ever make ends meet? Because it's, you know... Again, things are getting crazy out there. Let me have a card for the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Seven of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's it's that fear of the unknown of, of you know, will they take from me or will they continue to uh, assist me, to help me here? This has this feeling of tough energy in your reading. I mean, I can definitely feel it. Just my apologies, Pisces, for not being very clear. This energy, this feeling is very uncomfortable. 
there is this overwhelming sense of fear that you're stuck to a specific situation at this moment. It does affect your livelihood, your finances. And of course, you feel like if you make any sudden movements, it can all be taken away from you. And that's part of the fear. Can you stand on your own two feet or within your current circumstances without needing to depend on someone or something, right? Doesn't have to be codependency to someone like, you know, being dependent on someone financially or with helping you. But, you know, you could be dependent on, you know, sharing a, a place with someone and needing a roommate or uh, dependent on a job that, you know, can be emotionally, mentally, even physically taxing. Like, um, where is the joy of life when you feel like you don't have the energy to continue going? And so there is like this um, sense of urgency of wanting to break free, but there is also this feeling that your intuition or your higher self is almost warning you. Be ready, stay grounded, be strong. You've got this. It's not going to be easy, but you'll get through it. But hearing that type of message is what kind of scares you from taking that initial step. La Vera Civila. Yeah, I mean, you're just like, this is my situation. I've made peace with it. I'm stuck. I'm tied and bound. prisoner of your own decisions and circumstances here i also feel for some of you you may be feeling mentally trapped you know like you can't even think of possible situations that can open up for you or outcomes like you like your mind can't sense or even broaden its perspectives or horizons to see that there is a better way and it's mostly because you may have children that you're thinking about obviously as a parent it's a huge responsibility you don't want to fail them you don't want to struggle on your own let alone as a single parent Yeah, your focus is around money. There's fear of, of financial loss. While you long for financial freedom and freedom in other areas of your life, there is this feeling of this is where the money is. This is how I feel like my financial situation is guaranteed. And this is how we're going to get through it. And I have no choice. So... If you're separated but not fully divorced and there's someone in your life that maybe wants to take things more seriously, then you're just like, I don't I don't know if I could take that step because my financial situation changes, right? So I feel like they're almost um, very put out. I feel like they're feeling like that five of pentacles, like you're choosing... You're choosing to stay in a marriage or partnership that is essentially inactive uh, in terms of emotional commitment uh, because it pays you money. So I, I feel like there is someone else who is also frustrated. It's not just you. Vision. Concentration. Oh, two speculation and enthusiasm so like i was saying i feel like you, you some of you may have other opportunities that are here uh really it just feels as though you're making these assumptions while i do feel that your intuition is very strong i heard the word bold um your your feeling of feeling centered and putting forth the most energy where you're concentrating on specific outcomes you're focusing on what is and not really uh, expanding your horizons to what could be or 
how things can actually be better in the long run because there is that initial fear and it feels as though it's nine of wands PTSD energy you've been you've been through a rough situation it's taken you a long time to feel as grounded or as stable as you as you are now it, it's taken a great deal of strength and you've cried your last tear and you've you know had this overwhelming sense of fear and frustration and desperation because I feel like for some of you you've definitely uh, experience like anxiety or sadness or depression that comes out of it and and spirit is saying just for one second broaden your horizons the speculation towards something greater than you can ever think of and I feel like you're talking your way out of it because you're so focused on what is and the situations and the experiences that you've already had that you can't even see how it can actually be better because you're stuck on the how and because you don't know the how you can't fathom or you know even come up with the how it feels impossible it feels unreachable and the universe is saying to trust switch that fear towards enthusiasm and trust the universe is going to fill in those steps the universe knows the how you don't need to. The path will present itself to you. A little deep there, Pisces. <laughs> so, you know, again, I apologize. It just, this energy that I was picking up on, it took a while for me to really break it down and, um, you know, translate it for you in terms of how spirit was giving it to me. I have a little bit of a headache just from it. But... I feel like some of you also have headaches, just a headache of worry, anxiety, of fear. I feel like some, some of you even have a lot of tension, like Pisces, relax your shoulders, unclench your jaw, and do some meditation, some healing work, some healing work, some breath work. I wish you guys all the best for a wonderful January. Again, if you haven't caught your 2024 yearly forecast, it is already out. Make sure you check that out. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate your support. Double tap that bell to get notified of all the new readings. You know, your likes, your comments, your subscribes really help to get, um, you know, these readings up into the YouTube universe. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful month. Take care. Bye.